everybody. I was sitting here and I was pondering on the question that I always get asked the most, which is, what is self-love? And as I was thinking about it, one of the things that I continuously tell people is that self-love is not a destination. I think we have this misconception that in order to love yourself, you have to do something or go somewhere to get something. Um, and if you don't have self-love, then you are forever on a journey missing it. And what I really want to say about self-love is that self-love in actuality really just means being truthful with yourself and then having compassion for where you are in the moment. And if you think about it, love is really just an energy. It's not this total act. There's beautiful ways to act out self, uh, to act out love. Um, however, but when love is actuated, it's really just this energy that exists. It, it, there is no destination to love. You are love. You don't have to yearn or go get love because you are love. And so when you're loving yourself, it's really just honoring where you are in the moment. Like in my fullness, this is what I'm doing. In my fullness, this is how I feel. In my fullness, this is where I am. I don't have to be anywhere different. So it's honoring the thought process that where you are is exactly where you're meant to be. Because if you were supposed to be anywhere else, you would be, right? It takes on the idea that the future hasn't been created yet and the past doesn't exist. So the only moment that you have right now is the present moment. And how often are we in the present moment judging ourselves? Like we're really harsh on ourselves. Like I know I can be kind of harsh on myself. And when I settle into where I am and I start acknowledging how I feel, what I'm doing, finding gratitude for where I be in the moment, that's self-love. Because compassion is the act of kindness. It's the act of being gentle with yourself. It's the act of... <sighs> Choosing to accept where you are, not judging it, not controlling it, not denying it, not running away from it, not avoiding it. If you were not running to try to get somewhere, you'd be sitting right here. You'd be sitting. So sitting is another space to be. It's actually doing something. When you're sitting, you simply are allowing. And when you allow, you open yourself up to this beautiful world of receiving. This is the journey. This is an act all unto itself. Will you get it right all the time? Hell no. Does that mean that you're not always loving yourself? Absolutely not. Self-love means acknowledging where you are on the journey in the moment of every part of your journey. Not needing to be anywhere else but right here. And it's also okay if you want to be somewhere else except for right here. But trusting that the thoughts you're having are dropping down to you for a reason. The feelings you're having are coming to you for a reason. The experiences you're having are happening for a reason. We are experiential human beings who are always collaborating with life. Life is not put here to make you suffer. Life is not put here to uh, keep you stuck. Life is here to provide you with the challenges in order to grow you. So wherever you are, be there. <laughs> Be there. <sighs> this is not only just a reminder to you. This is a reminder to myself. I will forget where I've been. I will forget where I am. I will forget what I'm doing. And I'll have to come back into my home, my center, and stay right where I am. 
And what that does is it helps me to alleviate my own anxieties and worries that start to pop up in my head. And I get to be calm again. I get to be in flow again. And because I get to be in flow, I get to honor myself right where I am. And the only way to do that is to be truthful about where I am, what I'm doing, how I'm thinking, and how I'm feeling right here in the moment, and having compassion for it. That's all. All right? So if you want to visit more about me, you want to sign up for my newsletter, you want to be part of my membership site and the group of other self-love tribers out there, <laughs> go into my website, theselflovecenter.com. Sign up for my newsletter. Become part of the self-love tribe. I want you to be a part of that, and I want to see more of you. So, peace. <laughs>